whose property is this? We are in my house. I'm glad everybody's here today. We got some exciting happening. Katie and Luke are going around their brand new house. Uh, this is our first walkthrough. You know, I, I hear from a lot of clients and agents that, hey, we're a luxury brand. Um, and to me, luxury isn't necessarily a price range. It's just the quality of service uh, and quality of follow through that we have. So I would say that we're a brand of follow through and a brand of commitment. Um, and that's what makes us unique in this market. My name is Alex Adabashi. I'm a broker here at Huntington and Ellis. So I'm glad everybody's here today. We got some exciting happening. I got a beautiful new custom home listing in Section 10, which is a hot neighborhood. The owners demanded that we get this place fully set up, furniture, artwork, staged. So it's gonna be done now. I'm getting ready to head over there. Wow, looks good. Is this all okay up here? The drapes and... This would be great if it was not there, but mm. you know, okay. you, you can't have everything you want, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Agreed. We're working with it. We're trying to bring in a few reds and golds and okay. make it a little bit less ornate and just more fresh and modern. Perfect. Yeah. Is that the picture that's going to go up there? Uh, Probably. Okay. Yeah. We cool. Got a lot of art Where is this going to go? Over the bed. No. This one goes over this. the bed. At the end of the bed? This will go Yeah? Through. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. The bottom of it is reading the space and then understanding what the buyer wants to see. So they need to be able to envision themselves in that home. And something like this would read well for mom and dad. And then for the kids over here with the gaming area, um, someone could easily envision their whole family moving in and finding their own special place within the house. What's going on guys, Colton and Thomas here. You know, we're always talking about or showing you some of the progress of properties that we're uh, working on, whether it's ourselves, properties we're flipping, or properties that we're working on with our investor clients who are flipping them. Well, we got and a little uh, rare opportunity, don't we? Yeah, so we wanna show you kind of another perspective um, of, of a property that is about to start being flipped. And this is if anybody is looking to start a remodel project on your own, or maybe considering either you know making a move now or just remodeling your house and waiting a while for that move. So, and whose property is this? We are in my house. So, what better place to show you than my own house? We bought the house for one hundred sixty-five thousand, twelve hundred dollars a month on our mortgage. So it's costing us super, super low to live here. Um, but we're going to invest probably about twenty-five thousand dollars into this remodel. And we're focusing on definitely the most important things, which are kitchen and master bathroom. So we'll show you in the kitchen, which is this is where the biggest majority of the work is going, obviously. Always focus on the kitchen when you're doing a remodel. Kitchens are where it sells. It's the focal point of the house. So we always advise our clients if they're doing a kitchen remodel and um, looking to sell the house soon to usually just paint the cabinets most cost-effective thing to do, the easiest. Um, <laughs> however, we're actually ripping all the cabinets out in the entire house and putting in brand new cabinets, only because I got such a smoking deal on the new ones. It cost me like $1,000 more than it would to have them all painted. So all the cabinets are getting ripped out, uh, white shaker cabinets everywhere. And then this bar top right here is getting cut down to one level. We had the house on the market for a little while. 
a uh, beautiful home in, uh, in Summerlin and Paradiso. We had uh, a discussion myself and the homeowner about doing some slight improvements just for resale to kind of help with the, you know, the sale of the property. We had a lot of showings before we had some feedback from the agents and the buyers basically saying, you know, the house is great, the layout's beautiful, location is amazing. Uh, however, the inside was a little outdated, so myself and the homeowner talked and they decided to do a few things to the kitchen. We did some brand new, beautiful quartz white countertops. And then before that, they actually redid the uh, cool deck in the backyard, repainted it, patched a couple hairline cracks in the pool, uh, and now they're in the process of redoing the driveway. They are uh, repainting it a uh, different color. too big to be empty, 5,600 square feet. Exactly, well that's what I was saying too. I took, when we just did our little walkthrough, I took photos on my phone so I would have a reference point. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know even how I would look at that if I was buying a house. Right, I was right. On, I was um, so yeah, we're really happy with how it turned out. Hello, my name is Ryan Whitman with Huntington Ellis Real Estate. Um, so those clients that I had, uh, Katie and Luke, I actually met them through a good friend of mine, Matt, who let me know that they were uh, moving out here from Ohio. They are being transferred uh, through their military and needed some help finding a place. So I actually started uh, by getting them a condo uh, when they were out here, which they needed to live in before they actually went and got their new build. Um, so that condo, we uh, went through and got that for them as their property out here. They lived in there for about two months. And then from there, uh, we, they're gonna use that as a rental. And then we went into and got them the new build property. So uh, Katie and Luke are going around their brand new house. Uh, this is our first walkthrough. And we're going around finding out any imperfections that they find out with the house. Uh, they use the blue tape to mark it so that uh, the foreman will go around and be able to fix everything for them. And then after this, we're gonna go take a look on the inside and uh, he'll explain everything for us on the inside as well as go around blue tape and mark up uh, what we need to. Okay. Let's Darker? I like it. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It really doesn't cool the house down. What it does is it reflects the, uh, the UVs out so that it doesn't bleach your carpet or bleach your furniture. That's all it really does. We met Ryan through a mutual family friend of Katie's. He's been really helpful. Uh, he's introduced us not only to 12 different homes before we settle on buying one here, um, he introduced us to the community at large. It was really nice just to get a feel for the neighborhoods we would be moving into you know, before we put any money down anywhere. The transition from the New York real estate market to the Las Vegas market, you know, I moved into, you know, a market where I knew no one and was able to slowly, and it was definitely a process, build uh, a reputable business and now a very successful brokerage that is having an immense amount of growth and I'm extremely proud to you know have a place where some of the top agents here in Las Vegas can hang their license. So what's going on everybody? Colton Villa back here and we are at my house. 
One of my specialties is when I'm working with buyers, so I like to go out and find them the house that's not currently listed. I am with the Via Sullivan Group here at Huntington and Ellis. Uh, I acquired this listing from a dear friend of mine. It was a referral. A little bit of a hiccup here. If I'm buying a $1.2 million house, I want this thing to look perfect. So this pool's gotta get cleaned. We got issues. 